Hello, friends. The Edge magazine, where I have been a weekly columnist for, with Card of the Week for mm, two-ish years now, give or take, uh, asked me if I would try something different. And so here we go. Um, for uh, at least the next six months, we'll see. We'll see how it goes and how it feels. Um, I will be doing video monthly forecasting with Tarot rather than my weekly uh, column. And if you still really want to have that card of the week, uh, join Group Tarot's mailing list um, or join me on Patreon. Um, you are welcome in all of those places and um so here begins with the school year and just as we are barely waning um after august's blue super moon super full moon um a little bit of monthly forecasting for September. The deck that I am using is uh, honestly one that, that I was a little surprised was calling out. And then when I sat with that, I was like, oh, no, that makes sense. This is a crowdsourced tarot in uh, Portland, Oregon, which is where um, I am based on uh, Multnomah, Chinook, Confederated Bands of the Warm Springs, Malala, uh, traditional lands. Um, our pagan community uh, got together and created our own tarot deck. And so it's a deck that unless you are like in the Pacific Northwest and happen to know one of these folks, you will not have seen this deck before. You will uh, probably not have seen any of the people in it unless uh, the card that I um unless my card happens to uh, be chosen for us in September. And um, with September being a time of school beginning or continuing and um, coming up on the end reflections for those of, um, for those of us who celebrate Samhain, Halloween, as the end of one year and the beginning of the next. Um, it doesn't surprise me that some like very intentional community wants to feed into this September. Um, and then also by my side is uh, the tree oracle deck and um, this was uh, a gift from The Edge magazine and uh, their partner in our traditions. Um, and it's a lovely, it's a lovely deck. And this one specifically wanted to be out because one of the things that always comes up for me personally when we are thinking about seasonal shifts and um, of course, September will have us shift from summer into fall with the equinox, um, is how to bring, um, how to bring our best and our favorite parts of other seasons with us. It's very similar and reminiscent to, ooh, am I gonna sneeze? <laughs> It's very similar and reminiscent um, to how I end tarot readings and group tarot sessions and um, tarot show performances of what do you want to carry out from the reading into the real world. And that came, that practice for me comes from a pagan spirit gathering summer ritual where we were all asked um, 
what we would bring. How would we bring the festival and the that particular summer solstice magic in with us through the rest of our world and our um normie lives because you know especially back in this was mm, probably 99 2000 somewhere thereabouts um even though i was out of the broom closet um there were not a lot of us who were <laughs> at that point um certainly not in like muggle jobs and i'm wearing a sarong right now and one of my dear friends from that i met at that pagan spirit gathering was like well i can't be out at my particular work but i can wear a sarong around the house more because at that point the only time he wore sarongs was around the house um and at, yeah, the only time he wore sarongs was at festival and um that was one of the things that he did to bring that forward so as we shift into fall these trees feel like there is a there is a seasonal shift in them that they also want to share and impart for our September. So September. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Whew. If we have been spending a lot, it is time to pause our physical spending, our emotional and energetic expend spending, our mental spending of energy, and start getting ready to be like the bear and think about hibernating early. I whew, take take the rest, take the pause. Um, yeah. And it, it's interesting because for some of us, like summers are times for doing all of the things. And for some of us, summers are times for like, yeah, I'm just going to kick back and relax. And for some of us, we're coming out of winter and going into summer because I know that not all of y'all are from the global north. Um, and, but whew, this, this, this five of pentacles, four of swords combination is speaking very loudly to for September, take some halts and some pauses on the finances, be a little more frugal and judicious. The queen of pentacles is still here and strong. Like we, we have, we have the bounty of the seasons. God has blessed the farmer's markets. Although they're um, for those on the um, Northeastern part of the United States that have uh, had such horrible flooding um their crops are really hard hit so uh ways to support their csas and things like that are definitely smart um mutual aid is always a good and beautiful thing yeah there's something in um for those of y'all who are more familiar with Rider Waite Smith uh, iconography, this is obviously you know very different, and there's something there's something about how each of these pentacles are connected to that center spoke, and it speaks it's speaking right now a lot to um, spokes councils and mutual aid and remembering how we are 
all connected to something central, but then really make it our own. Um, And the trees. <laughs> Want to share with us hazel. I love all of the little sprites and the um all of the little fay, all of the little dryads in there. And they are so bright and um, luminous and smiling and yellow, like so, so much yellow in this card of Hazel. So there are the magical um, properties of Hazel, which I'm totally looking up into the book for this one because the medicines of trees are ones that I am learning. Ooh, and it has a lovely little poem. Play and sensuality are jewels and songs of joy disempower time. Trust and leap, take life with both hands, open up to a world full of magic. Mm, what a beautiful poem. There. I'm not sure if it is by the author Fred Hagenader or Anne Hang, but they are the creators of this lovely little deck. And the other messages of Hazel are carefree spontaneity. Mm. It talks a lot about the inner child, which is not surprising given that. It is also the card of hazel, our, where hazelnuts come from, filbers in Oregon. So there also may be something in the um, ingesting of hazelnuts. I'm not sure if we are coming up to their harvest time in September. But of course, the autumn equinox is a huge part of harvest and bounty with this beautiful queen of pentacles. So have a beautiful September, friend. Watch your money, watch your energy, watch your resources, spend spend wisely. And if you've been spending a whole lot of money this summer, Take a little bit of a pause right now and think about what it is that you want to carry forward from the summer into the fall, how you want to rest your mind, rest your body, continue playing and dreaming. And I will see you in another video next month for October 2023. And if you want card of the week, join grouptarot.com mailing list or Patreon. Have a beautiful month.